This series is all about playing games. All 656 of them in my Steam library. Your Tauntaun will freeze before you reach the first marker! Bit Studios. Best plays on Alien. I'm sorry, what's wrong with Intel? NVIDIA! Yes, NVIDIA. Doom, doom, boom, boom, boom. No, that's definitely Intel. Oh. That is grim. See that? Looks like some high grade military shit. Today might be our lucky day. Get out of there, you fools. We got two civilians in the hot zone. Convoy Yukon reporting, sir. Next stop, the Big Apple. Over and out. That's a pretty cool intro. Not gonna lie. This is multiplayer. NO2. This is a sequel to, uh, I'm sure it's normally Warzone Earth. I could be wrong about that. But I'm only playing this in order of it is on my Steam list, and this just so happened to be first. So let's go straight to back, 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 back. options, settings. Let's turn down. The music. There we go. There we go. Much better. I can definitely hear things properly now, and it's not going to be through the roof. Story mode. Let's go. Mission select rock bottom. The machines returned with one purpose to annihilate the human race. Our last hopes of survival was a weapon called Project Shockwave. Not that type of shockwave. Although he's pretty cool in the Transformers series. I like him. I find your reply to be... logical. A desperate attempt to reclaim it turned out to be the 14th Splatoon last mission. It was, it was the year 2028. It's in six years. That doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> Uh, sleep difficulty normal. I'm not going casual because I got to give victory some sort of challenge. Was just an illusion. They hit us again in 2021, multiplying like metal cockroaches. They covered the planet. We didn't stand a chance. The last hope for humanity's survival was a weapon developed by Earth's greatest scientist. Project Shockwave. By the time it was completed, 
It was too late. Humanity fell, and fell hard. The Rocky Mountains, year 2028. I don't know if this is tower defense or something. This is General Roberts. What's your status? Boys here. I'm half a click south of the 14th platoon. My transporter's smashed. My pilot's dead. Get away from that wreck. It can blow any second. Good. I need you alive. Now head north and rendezvous with the 14th. Alright, so I can move with WSD, which is nice. And I can also click with the mouse to move. I'd rather use WSD, it's more interactive in my eyes. Not that you can see the mouse anyway. I usually have that stuff turned off. Targets at one o'clock. Concentrate your fire and light the bastard up. Oh, we're just stuck it. Good to see you alive, sir. Boys, your men deserve some help. Stand by for activation of your repair ability. Ah. Oh. I've only got repair things for now. Remember to use your ability. Without them, your men won't stand a chance. So time will pause for me if I do that. Extra repair, nice. Thank you. Four. Ah, uh, so this it kind of is like a tower defense, but the enemy is the defense, and we are the attacking team. Ah, oh, it's a checkpoint. Nice. Oh, hello, big worm. Morph all units into hellhounds. Double click on the units to morph them. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Go here and do this. Did they drop any? Oh, they did. I need that first blood. Yes. Nice. Uh, let's go here, put this down. I see, I see. So you have to morph them. This okay. They drop anything? No, they didn't. Yep, repair base Good station. Job, Combo 1.4. Captain, hmm. they took cover in the rocks on both sides. You know the drill, soldier. Or no. There's a length of duration. It's actually pretty interesting. It's a new take on uh, the tower defense. Whoa. That's a big dude. Look at him down there. They brought the whole family. Keep your heads down, boys. We don't want to get their attention. There probably is like some good storyline behind this, and like some of the other previous games. But I'll figure that out at some point. Maybe I'll reference back to this one when I get the chance to do so. Actually, let's keep going forward. Ooh, excellent. Combo 4.5. Nice. It's a shame that I can't, like, uh, I won't say pan because I can do that, like, rotate the screen. We made it. This must be the research station. 
So he tells me we're gonna have to fight that thing. What is this? The tin can jamboree? General, we got a lot of structures here, all alien origin. The research station is still standing. It houses invaluable data on Project Shockwave. Acquiring that data is your primary objective, boys. All right, people, you heard the general. Move out. <laughs> Those traps are our specialties. Can I, like... Uh, that's during a cutscene, that was just invincible, that's nice. <laughs> Into the station with the commander. Okay. There's still like that big ass... Data upload initiated. Loud and clear, Captain. It's a new day for humanity. I'm downloading your transmission. Whoa! What the hell? We got trouble! We got tin can! North of here! Coming in fast! Boys, you must complete the transmission, no matter what. All units, hold your position and wait for your captain! Yes, well, this is too good. These dudes don't have their captain to help repair the units. Get them, get them, get them. Oh, one's dead. Oh, yep, they're dead. F. R.I.P. 14th pl platoon eliminated. Captain Poise killed in action. He didn't have enough poise. <laughs> Project Shockwave data transfer successful. You saved the entire Earth, gentlemen. Swift with this, none. That's not too bad. I got two out of the three things. I don't honestly don't know if swiftness is a thing. Maybe I could like speed them up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It is now 2034. Wow, it's six years difference between uh, here and there. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Normal. We're we'll stick We're to normal. survivors of the war. Banded together in huge convoys, we search the frozen tundra for food and supplies. My convoy is called Yukon. I started training with a simulator to get the hang of the combat suit, the greatest military toy since gunpowder. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 4,213 miles north of the anomaly. Okay. There are two ways to plan a referee squad. Left clerk sits. Okay. Set a route to the entrance of the safe zone. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm not gonna go back round. Technically, I could. Good. The simulation starts now. Oh, I don't have any repair things though. These are the assault hounds. The prior. Oh, I cut her off. Assault hounds start with a slow fire rate and minor damage capability. Yeah, I've noticed these things are super weak. But if they keep firing, they're to inflict more damage. Oh, you can hold shift for efficiency. 
The round indicator over the assault hound displays its firepower. We're gonna do this. This is a hellhound designed for urban warfare. There you have it. Hellhounds are. Designed for urban warfare, the Hellhound is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers with a high rate of fire. The flamethrowers can set towers on fire and give additional damage as they burn. Flamethrowers get more effective over time and warm up quickly. Oh. Ignore the tremors. We're catching some heat out here in the real world, but we got it covered. Focus on your training. Oh, here we go. That's nice. Alright, you can press control. That's cool. I like that. that is... Remember, you can morph your units, although you may want to destroy all the towers. Come on, put that down. Thank you. Choose the ways you're gonna get yourself killed by doing absolutely nothing. Drop one. You did. Good. I need that. Ace If I don't get you. Another one. Good. Yep. Got another one. Lovely. Oof. Yep. He's too dead in here. Ah, oh, yeah, so this is how you get the swiftness boost by holding shift. Bronze Ruthless, yeah, I didn't kill them all. Effective. Efficiency is always high. That's good to know. That's good to know. Alright then. VR Mission 2. Currency exchange. Uh, no. Oh, is that the the points that I got? Corusoo is a rare element not found in this world. We use it to buy units, upgrade existing ones. Nice. Use base order windows. Unit selection window. Ah. Buy. It's in here. Can buy. And I don't have enough for that. Bear in mind, you can always gain Corusoo by selling units. I'm not going to be selling units anytime soon, thank you. Well, that's the goal. How do I start? Now okay. advance. One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formations. Use space to open the unit selection window. Oh. oh, that's pretty cool. So I can move units around. That's pretty good. Good. Begin collecting Karusarum. We just got through a firefight. Enemy was neutralized. You can use Karasarum to improve your unit's armor, firepower, and more. Try it now. Oh. Upgrade Salon Morph. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's roll the most of the units. Upgrade them both. Oh, I can't. Dang. I could sell one for 300 and then upgrade the other one. <laughs> I don't know, stuff, stuff for the exit links. Oh, he died. I should have morphed him. Shit. Yes, I know I failed the mission. I was like, this game died. <laughs> uh, I'm about to last checkpoint. Yes. So it does. Get another one. There we go. That's better. The fact that they can shoot twice. It's like one for each arm. Good. 
Good job. Now you know how to secure. Time is running out, and New York's on the horizon. Yeah. There we go. Armor of steel. Efficiency high again. Uh, swiftness is silver and bronze. Back to with this again. It's exactly the same as I got before. Interesting. I keep forgetting that you can morph these things. Big, bad, and ugly. I got another VR machine to do. Oh, I got a new update thing. Buy 600. Let's upgrade one of these. Yeah, so I get three, but I'll upgrade one. I think it might be better that way because you get more. Yeah, you get more armor, you get more tank damage with it, which is good. No, no. There we go. Good. Let's get cracking. All right, let's have a look and see how this behemoth. The trick I told you about before is called the decoy. It draws enemy fire to itself. Decoy ability is online. Now use it on the behemoth. Remember to deploy it as far as you can from the troops. When that behemoth lets loose its shockwave, you don't want to be close to it. Well, I see. There's a decoy. Not bad. Now attack. Here's the tech analysis. The decoy ability draws fire from towers within a certain range. That's not what I wanted. I just wasted one of my abilities thanks to you. I wanted to get the healing back. Uh, are they in range? Well, should be in range. Yep, definitely in range. I need that. The healing thing. Yes! Excellent. The mine. Mine! Oh. Enemy fire. Links, when I started tutorial, I aimed to complete it. Focus on your training. I know I'm trying to, but I want to avoid going that way. Just keep circling around this area. Because I don't want that thing to basically destroy me. I keep using escape thinking it's the right move to go down, but it's not. Now that's done. Let's rotate you that way, bring you around this way, bring you around that way. I'm not gonna go for all of them because I don't think I'll make it. Let's go this way, that way. So, destroy all these ones, leave those ones behind. Alright, that seems pretty good. Let's get these. I should be able to upgrade one of my units, right? If I go squad... Oh, I could buy another one! Jeez Louise, I can sell these too. Oh, because they're damaged. Uh, let's upgrade one, sure. Get another upgrade. Very good. I've got no repair things. Got only distractions. Jeez. Oh, the end of your training is coming. Wow. Well, there goes the um. Can you hear me? Links. Never did get the finisher. 
for. Get him out of there. Ruthless gold efficiency gold yet again as always a good efficiency swiftness bronze I didn't even get a silver this time I mean that last one the first one I got was nothing <sighs> what's next fish in a barrel interesting interesting indeed this this is a really interesting take on the old uh, tower defense genre this is quite nice I'm assuming that the other anomaly games that I'm going to be playing up, uh, playing pretty soon, or pretty much in the next game after this, I think it's just anomaly Korea, and then it's anomaly Warzone Earth, then anomaly Warzone Earth campaign. I can't remember if there's another anomaly one that I've got. Then after that, I think it's like some other games that I've got, but I'm going to be playing through these ones probably for the next couple of. Couple, yeah. But anyway, don't forget to freeze over that review. This is basically Mad Max convoy fans. You know what the towers? Your towers with wheels and morphing abilities. This is more and more sounding like Transformers without Peter Cullen and sentient robots. 